Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review and demo of this set. It is the Real Techniques um, Illuminate and Accentuate 7 piece set. So if you want to see my thoughts on this and see how I use it, then just keep watching. I purchased this set from Ulta, but I just looked on their website and I don't see it anymore. I did find it at another retailer. And then I also found um, a set with just the five brushes and not the sponges. So I will link both of those down below. But this set comes with the um, Real Techniques sponge, a smaller sponge, the bronzer brush, a contour brush, and then this is a domed shade brush, a, or a domed shadow brush, a shading brush, and a smudge brush. So I am going to show you as I talk about these how I use them. As you guys know, I love Real Techniques. These are all of the other Real Techniques brushes that I have. So I will talk about which ones compare that I have in my collection already to the ones that are in this set, if the set's worth it, and all of that good stuff. So this set retails for $29.99, and then the set that has the five brushes without the sponges is $19.99. So this is what it looks like in the packaging. I've had this sponge a million times before. So, sorry, I had to like shove these back into the packaging so I could show you guys, but I already used them. So the sponges are wet and don't really wanna fit into the spots. I've used this sponge for years. I actually stopped using it when EcoTools came out with their new sponge, which I will also link down below, but it's a green sponge and I love it. That's what I've been using it on a daily basis. And going back to this one, I just, I don't like it as much. So I have to pass on this. I would use it again and I would use it if I was in a pinch, but I love the EcoTools one so much more and they're around the same price point. So it's not like I'm saving money by using this one. So I think I would just rather use the EcoTools sponge. And then this is a concealer sponge and it's the same shape as um, the bigger sponge. The only difference is this one has a flat top here and this one is rounded at the top. But this is a really good one to get you know, in the corners of your eyes. You can even set or bake with this on the flat side. Um, the only reason, well, I think this worked great, but the only reason that it's kind of a pass for me is that it's just an extra step and I already have that step done. I can do that with the bigger sponge, even though it doesn't fit in all the crevices as well. It's not worth it for me to wet down or wet another sponge and then use this. So I just use this sponge that I use for the rest of my makeup. All right, onto the brushes. First up, this is the bronzer brush, and it is a dual fiber brush. It's pretty thick and round, and it's kind of like a stippling brush. So I will show you, I have the regular stippling brush, which is this one, and as you can see, it's much smaller and not as dense. So honestly, I'm not really into stippling brushes, to be 100% honest with you. The brush that I use for bronzer and powder right now is the Real Techniques Powder Brush, which is kind of has a dome shape. It's pretty thick and big, and you it just covers your face really nicely. You'll see me in the demo, I use this for my powder, but I used this one today for my bronzer. I've used it quite a few times trying to test it out and see if I would just get used to it, if it was just something different, and I just don't like it as much. It feels heavier or like harder against my skin even though it's super soft I just feel like if I I don't know I just don't like that all of the bristles hit your skin it's kind of a bigger area um, overall I just really like using this powder brush for my bronzer better than I like using this brush also for reference the powder brush retails for $9.99 all right next up is the contour brush and when I saw this I immediately thought like yeah I have that in my collection and I pulled out this brush, and this one is called the Multitask Cheek Brush, but you guys, it is the same size, same shape. The only difference is the color, but they are exactly the same. So this, they just renamed it, but if you already have this multitasking cheek brush in your collection, then you have the contour brush. So that's just kind of a little thing that I noticed. Um, I do really like this. I use it for contour. I enjoy it. I like that it's domed. It's small enough to really fit into the hollows of your cheekbones. Um, I really, really enjoy this one. So if you don't have it in your collection, I recommend it. Um, but if you do already have this one, then it's the same brush and you don't need it again. One thing I will note about the multitasking brush is I got this in a different set as well. I don't think that they sell this on its own. So unless you have the multitasking set, you might not have this brush. 
um, and I don't have anything that is 100% similar. The next brush I have that's similar to this one is this, which is the setting brush, but it is quite a bit smaller and it's not round, it's more oval and it's smaller. I actually like to use this one for my highlight. I just feel like it fits perfectly. It's also a great setting brush if you want to put powder under your eyes. But I don't have another brush that's like this that is sold on its own. And I Real, Techni Real Techniques might make one. I don't have all of their brushes. I just have a lot of their brushes. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, I have another brush. This one is pretty similar too. Um, this one, again, it is more flat. So it's skinnier this way than it is this way, but it is still domed. And this is another one that is good for fitting right in the hollows of your cheekbones. So, and I've used this one a lot for contour actually. I believe this one came in a set as well. So again, it's not exactly the same, but it is another option if you already have a brush like this. The next brush in the set is the domed shadow brush. So this is a really good one to put down your base and your all over color. Um, the closest thing I have in my set is this, which is also from that multitasking set and it is the multitasking eye brush. This one's bristles are a little bit bigger and this one is round where this one is a little bit more oval. So um, this one I actually like better to throw a color in my crease because since the brush bristles are domed, you kind of get that faded look, which is always what I'm going for. This one kind of packs color on more densely. Um, the bristles are a lot more dense in this one and this one has, um, sorry, you can see powder coming off. Um, this one's bristles aren't so densely packed and the bristles are longer. So this one gives more of a light wash of color. And then the other close one I have is this one, which is the same shape as the one in this set. Um, the bristles are a little bit more domed on this one. Um, but again, and this one is a little bit bigger, but it's the same kind of a shape. I did enjoy this, but I, you definitely have to be careful if you're just trying to put your base down or your crease color because it will pack color on very quickly. Oh, and I found a set of this and another eye brush for I think $6.79 online, which I will link down below. So if you already have eye brushes and you're not interested in this set, then, or if you need eye brushes but you don't need everything else in this set, then you can pick up that one for a very low price. All right, I have two more brushes in this set. The first one is the shading brush. This is a pretty small brush and it's really good for your all over lid color. Um, I really liked this one. I don't have anything like it in my collection. I don't wear eyeshadow that often, so I don't have a ton of eyeshadow brushes in my collection. So this is a new one to me and I did really enjoy it. The last brush is the smudge brush. This again, I really enjoyed. It's good for smudging color at, in your lash line. And I have a few brushes like this. It, it worked up to the standards of all of the other brushes that I have that are similar to it. So I highly recommend both of these too. On average, the Real Techniques brushes range from like a seven to $10 range. And so you're getting five brushes plus two sponges. It's a great value if you need the products in your collection. So for me, I already have this exact brush. I wasn't a huge fan of the um, domed shader brush, but I did like the other two eye brushes. And I, I wasn't a huge fan of this because I already have a brush that I like more to do the same job. So out of the five brushes, the two small eye brushes are the ones that I would get the most use out of, although I am happy to have another contour brush in my collection. So these three are ones that I'll use. These two I probably won't. And then the two sponges, I won't use the smaller one, but I will use the bigger one. If I count that up, that's probably $10 for this one and then like seven to eight for these two. So that's less than $30 and I paid $30 for the set. So for me, this set wasn't worth it, but I also already have so many brushes in my collection. So if you're trying to build your set and build your collection, I think this would be totally worth it. Um, this sponge is really good. I just personally personally like the EcoTool sponge better. So I did find the set without the sponges, so I will link that one down below too if you're just looking for the brushes. I hope that this was helpful for you. I hope that it kind of swayed you in one direction or another or kind of gave you a few ideas of brushes that you might like. If it was helpful for you and you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.